and you don't want to get in between them and their food because then you'll become their food. It's a true story. Pigs are omnivores. Good morning, modern setters. Welcome to the farm. It's Friday, and you know what Friday is. Friday is modern stetter update. Let's get on with the farm tour. Let me show you the crazy cat first. What are you doing, crazy cat? Pluto's jealous. Pluto says, let's get on with the modern stetter Friday update. Let's go. Pluto's ready to give you the update. You ready, Pluto? You ready for the Friday update? One of the first things we need to do is move the Icelandic chicks in their $30 chicken coop we built in 30 minutes! No way! And that's how simple it is to move the modern stetter chicken coop. It'll be even easier once they're bigger and we can put the full size feeder in here. The feeder will be on the corner seat so we won't have to go in here and move the feeder for them. The plastic hinges are working nicely. They're holding up. Still not sure on which ones are females and which ones are males. It's gonna take a little bit while longer to, to determine that. We have the automatic chicken feeder we made for our chicken coop. And with the Icelandic chickens, they are loving it. It's working good. We need to move it so we can move them. I'll tell you what, the new modern stetter chicken coop, even with a full five gallon pail, of water moves a lot easier than the cattle panel style chicken coops. Whew. We're going to be building a lot more of the $30 chicken coops this winter. Sweet Pea still losing her feathers. She's still malting, but she's starting to get them all back now. She's looking pretty good. Rufus loves the new feeder. Hey, come on. Look at all the nice foliage. The leaves are dropping. Fall is here.
birds are growing great. <laughs> We're planning on harvesting them the weekend after the three day pig harvesting class. <laughs> But they are growing amazingly well, and they're all nice looking birds. We're gonna have a freezer full of the best pasture raised meat we can supply for our family. We're looking forward to it. We'll be eating well this winter. Be making some nice stews, some soups, some stocks, some bacon, eggs and bacon, mm, sausage, milk gravy. Mm, oh, we're gonna be eating good with some pasture-raised eggs, too. No one's gonna be hungry around here. I was waiting for that, Mr. Biggs. Thank you. <laughs> Plenty of water. Come on, blow it out. Let's go. Come on. This way. Come on. Oh man, oh, the deer are loving the broccoli. What a disappointment. They're kind of leaving the cabbage alone. Next year we'll have to make sure we do a good job at fencing off our fall garden. And you think I have a lot of energy. Come on, hey. I got nothing on her. I could use just a little bit of that energy. So next year we'll have to make sure we fence off our fall garden because I'm very disappointed. I was looking forward to all that cabbage and broccoli. That cabbage is gonna make some good sauerkraut. I guess we'll just have to support some local farms and buy some locally grown produce for the fall. We got our meat pole installed. We need it around 14 feet off the ground with the meat pole. We got about 14 feet, six inches. We need that height because we're gonna be able to raise the pigs up and have a 55 gallon drum of boiling water underneath them so we can dunk them in and after get all the hair off because we're gonna be processing the pigs the old methods so we can utilize as much of the pig as we can. If you'd like to see the videos on how we installed the meat pole, I'll put a link to those videos right here. It was quite a fun process, I can will say that the least. We've been getting a lot of questions lately on how we can be processing our own pigs. 
I'm writing a blog post to explain that better. That goes into more detail about how and why we do it. If you want to find out that information, go on over to our website. I'll put a link to it here and in the description down below and be on the lookout for that blog post. We got a mess going on inside the outdoor kitchen. We got to pick it up and organize it and get ready for the class. Here's the stove. The stove's all hooked up. If you haven't seen any videos on that, I'll put a link to those videos right here. We got the sink installed. The table's all laid out. We've been using it, cooking in it. We got our lantern so we can use it at night. It's been nice. Now we just gotta clean it up in here and organize it a little bit. We'll move the griddle outside. Thank you, Camp Chef. That thing has been amazing. We need to move the apple cider press. We need to figure out if we're going to be putting on the warmer or putting it somewhere else. Gina's not too sure if she'll like the look of the stove with the warmer back on it. She likes the way it looks right now, so we're a little torn. I'll probably install it and see what it looks like, and then we can take it off if we don't like it. Here's the 55-gallon drums we'll be using. We'll need one of them to put under the meat pole. Compost and outhouse is working great. In tomorrow's video, we're going to be working on a place to compost everything from our composting outhouse. So make sure you don't miss that video. Let's go check on the pigs. So we're going to be having the three day pig harvesting class here, and I'm going to be videotaping it. But I'm going to get three videos made, edited, and uploaded for you guys while we're taking the class. So that way while we're taking the class, my attention can be on learning the skills and videotaping what I can for all the modern steaders. And that way I'm not spending the night up till two o'clock in the morning editing the videos. So I'm gonna have three videos scheduled for those days and then come, so the last day is Sunday, so come that Monday or Sunday night, I'm gonna work on editing the first video. It's gonna be fun, we gotta be a little, hmm. We're gonna have to be a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Creative, we're gonna have to be creative on how we make these videos. YouTube has gotten very strict on their policies lately on what you can and you can't upload. And if I upload stuff they don't like, they won't monetize it, which isn't the biggest deal. They could put a strike on my channel. And if I get three strikes, Lumna Acres would be out of here. So we gotta be very creative and we're not gonna be able to post, we'll be able to post a lot of the stuff, but the very, first part we're not going to be able to record or I'll record it but I can't upload it to YouTube because we don't want to get kicked out of YouTube do we that wouldn't be any fun so we're gonna have to be creative if you want to learn the whole process from A to Z one to whatever leave it in the comments down below and we'll figure out a way to get these videos out the pigs are still sleeping believe it or not Good morning. Now that the pigs are awake. At this stage of a pig's life, the only thing they're doing is they're eating. And all they care about is eating. Look at how destructive they've been. They just want their feed. They're either eating or sleeping. That's what their life is all about right now. And drinking. They love the automatic waterer. We're gonna have to get some more feed out here. Look at that, they destroyed it. They broke it right into two pieces, man. Pigs are great animals, they're smart. But when they get to a certain stage, that's all they think about is eating and sleeping. And you don't want to get in between them and their food because then you'll become their food. It's a true story. Pigs are omnivores just like you and me. And they don't have a brain like us. They just think, they're just instinctual and they just think about eating. Did you find anything good? We hope you enjoyed today's video. We've been busy here around Lumna Acres getting ready for 
all the fall projects going on and getting ready for the three-day pig harvesting class we're going to be hosting here at Lumna Acres in just over a week. That's crazy. I'm looking forward to supplying me and my family with some of the best food possible on the planet and learning some new skills and learning it with some other modern steaders. This is going to be great. We're going to be learning some very useful skills for the modern steader. So stay tuned for those videos. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow where we're going to be working on the composting area for our composting outhouse. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Let's see what our crazy cat's up to. What are you doing? What are you doing?